Hello everyone, good morning! Oh my god, there's not much that I... Okay, listen, it's not that early, <laughs> but I've been up for like four hours, so give me a break. It's not like nine o'clock in the morning, quarter after nine. Let me put it this way, there's not much that gets me up and ready to leave the house at this time of morning than a good thrift adventure. So I randomly was watching YouTube the other day and I wasn't signed in so I didn't have my ad free stuff going on because I've subscribed to, what is it, YouTube TV or whatever they call it now where you don't have to worry about ads. And I was watching a video and I got an ad for this festival coming up. It was in like three days. I think I got this ad on Tuesday or Wednesday and now it's Saturday and it was for the Twin Cities Vintage Fest, I think is what it's called, where basically it's a big gathering of vintage vendors. Okay, cool, I'm ready to go. So it's COVID safe, you know, they are restricting the amount of people that are gonna be there, everyone has to wear their mask, all that good stuff, and it's just gonna be a bunch of vintage vendors that I'm pretty sure specialize in 80s and 90s kinds of memorabilia. They say there's gonna be games and comics and clothes and it looked like all sorts of stuff, so I'm just curious. I have never been. I hadn't heard of this, but the second I saw the commercial, I called my mom and I was like, you want to go? And being the faithful Mooty that she is, she said, yeah, it sounds fun. So we're going to see. Like I said, I have no idea what to expect, but I'm very excited to go and I think it'll be a lot of fun to bring you guys along with, see if we can find anything, see what they're offering, and yeah, like I said, I'm ready to go. So. Let's hit the road. All right. Going to the Minneapolis Convention Center. <laughs> she tells me to be the driver, and then the whole time driving, she's going to I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to get, I'm not used to driving a supercar. Yeah. My car's touches are not this sensitive. Yes, yeah, like so. you. Okay. So, out. we're on the road. Why are you zooming in? I'm trying to zoom out. Can't zoom out anymore. No, <laughs> you're like right next to my face. Uh, A zoom out would be moving. Uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> so, that's enough of cash driving. <laughs> Mom's getting gas. Mom's getting gas, cause mom has no gas in the car, cause I guess she didn't have gas in the car. So mom's getting gas, mom's getting gas, mom's struggling with gas, mom's struggling with gas. <laughs> 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 treacherous road. Mom doesn't like my parking skills. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I can't get out of the car. It's I couldn't road. get into the car. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Convention center. We found the right parking ramp. It's connected. We don't have to walk outside. Woohoo. Feels like we're outside. Skyway, skyway. Oh, no. oh, you do have it on, okay. Huh? I didn't see you put your mask on. I was gonna say, it said it's required in here, so. Hey! We found it! How long would you approximate this stretch to be? Oh boy. Yeah. Yeesh! It's hard to tell when you're not in person, but. <laughs> I mean, it is official. That's nice. Why'd you pass over this dragon? Sweet. Cheetah. Too bad it's tiny. Yeah. What is it, an extra small? Probably. Mm -hmm. Like 
Is that the one, Mom? That's the one. It's too small. Oh, darn. Oh, you sound so sad about it. Mm -hmm. We've got boo. Uh, what do we call that? Stuffed animal tree? Yeah. Look at these skiing aliens. Oh, look at the mice. <laughs> Little mouse belt. Leopard. Just feels like it's ready to fall apart. Mm -hmm. Look at this old JC Penny. JC Penny Fashions. Mm -hmm. What is this material? Here's a good Christmas skirt. Uh huh. Yep. Those were big. I never did because they showed everything off. Mm -hmm. My friend Michelle used to wear these all the time. Yeah. She had a purple one. Fabulous fruits. I just wish the material was better. Oh my god. Yep. You could still wear it, Mom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like Ricky's jeans. They've never heard of these. What? Coochie? Uh-uh. Yeah. Got it all across the bed. Oh. Yeah. 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 For babies. Think the website still works? <laughs> He's all dirty and hairy. Yeah, he was loud. Buttons, not buttons. They're on the other side. But... Oh, I thought they were what were used for buttons. No, no. we're on the inside here. Aww, fluffy kitty. Mm -hmm. And the back. Yep. Okay, now you have to pick one with the other car. Especially if you showed up in that one. Oh. Meow. <laughs> Potato. Good old potato. Yes. <laughs> I feel like I had one of these doll you cases. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, what is cootie? They're little spiders with plastic, and as you roll, you get legs. And whoever built a cootie first. Oh. What the? Insane, baby. Oh, look at those pigtails. Yep. That's a tiny rat. But do you see what's on it? A fox? There's a kitty. A kitty? It's a tiger. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Oh, look at that jeans. Yes. It's beautiful. I like vintage because. Hello, I am home. So it's obviously a different day here. You know, there wasn't any daylight left for me to film when I got home from the Vintage Fest, but you know, figured I would wrap it up here with you guys and show you what I bought. Some unexpected stuff for sure. But yeah, you know, it was different than I expected. My mom and I just the whole time, it was kind of, I don't know that it was surprising maybe it was more comical but also kind of expected i don't know it was one of those things where i love people watching please like let's first and foremost and it was just like i said kind of comical that there were so many it was just the stereotypical most of the people there it was very much the stereotype of what you think when you think of like vintage hipster kids which isn't a good or a bad thing it just there were so many everyone was dressed exactly the same you know the same denim overalls same high-waisted kind of bell bottoms the same crop tops the same sweaters the same 
everything. And then on top of just the fun people watching and outfit spotting and all of that, it was kind of, I don't know, it was one of those things where I guess I kind of expected things to be overpriced, but these things were like heavily overpriced. I mean, you guys saw in the B-roll footage, like t-shirts going for $500. Why would, first off, why would anyone want an OJ Simpson t-shirt? And second off, $500 for that? And some of them, I just, I didn't understand why. Like clearly there was a reason. There must be a reason why some of these like old vintage looking, but like, I don't know if they actually are vintage or not t-shirts, like, you know, with Wolverine on them or someone from X-Men. And those are going for like $300. And I'm like, is it just because it's popular or was this like a very limited run of a t-shirt and I just don't know it? But like at the same time, like it's used. And so like, I don't know, you know, it's, it's one of those things too, where like, I remember thinking way back when I started thrifting and whatnot, like how fun would it be to put together a store like on Etsy or something like that? You know, now there's Poshmark and how fun would it be while I'm out thrifting and finding things for myself? You know, I always end up seeing cute things, but they're not in my size. How fun would it be to buy the stuff and then sell it, you know, make a little cash, but also like pass on the good stuff I find while thrifting. And that's kind of what these stores are. So I understand the markup on things because I mean, that's why in the long run I didn't end up ever doing it is because I knew the price that I would have to put on these items to make it worth my time no one would buy it for that price you know you're buying the t-shirt for 10 bucks you know between five ten bucks at goodwill and then on top of that you have to put into consideration the time you put into shopping and then the time into posting it you know getting it ready listing the dimensions of the shirt when you finally get to all of that you're going to be charging like 30 bucks for a t-shirt and no one's gonna want to do that you know or at least the majority of people aren't gonna want to spend that on a used t-shirt myself included and so that's why i never started like a vintagey type thrifted shop of my own secondhand shop so it just makes me wonder like how do these places obviously it's working for them like they're figured they figured it out but how do these places stay in business it is astonishing to me so good for them they have figured it out <laughs> but um for the clothing i just wasn't there was a lot of cool stuff there i just wasn't willing to spend money on it except for a couple things so first off my mom pointed out this t-shirt 15 bucks you know, probably would have bought this for five bucks at a Goodwill, but you know, I was there and whatever. It's just, it's cats. There's cats on it. <laughs> and I just think it's cute. Fat cat, little cat, alley cat, tabby cat, tom cat, tiger cat, cat that's not a calico cat, but okay. White cat, like San Francisco. What is this shirt? I don't know but I like it. I doubt I'm gonna wear it as a t-shirt. It's just kind of a thicker, stiff t-shirt material. I'm probably gonna end up cutting out the motif. Is that what it would be called? The print on here? And sew it onto something else. So do a little DIY on it. But uh, yeah, I was, I was happy with that find. My mom technically spotted it from across the room for me. So thanks mom. And then this was like the first thing when I walked in the room and I couldn't pass it up and I was actually thrilled and surprised that it actually fits me. I saw someone else trying it on and it was one of those moments when you're thrifting and you're like, oh my gosh, I hope they hate it. I hope they hate it. Like it actually looks really cute on them, but I hope they hate it so that I can try it, <laughs> you know? And then they put it back and then someone else swept in and went for it. And I was like, son of a... <sighs> Calm. Pretend like you're not interested. Pretend like nothing is happening. Don't let them know that there is a want for this jacket. And then the second person ended up putting it back too. And then I dove in and I got it myself and I tried it on. You guys, I have wanted a cat jacket for so long. <laughs> and I finally found one. Made in heaven, you're telling me. There's a phone number on here. I don't know, give them a call. Are they still in business? But like I said, this is only in a large and I was like, there's no way it's gonna fit me. And like I said, I would have preferred this to be in an extra large, but like when you're thrifting, you don't have that choice or those options but it's just a little bomber jacket so this will be more for like the fall for me you know I'll be able I doubt I'll be able to wear it on top of like a thick hoodie this is a very thin hoodie I don't know why I'm pointing to it but you know if I already have on
on something thick and warm, this probably will not fit me on top of it. But if I'm just wearing a t-shirt or a very thin, you know, lightweight hoodie, you know, like a not really, it's more of a shirt, but it has a hood on it kind of a shirt, I'll be able to wear this on top of it. And I am just, I'm thrilled. I'm hoping I can put this through the wash. I'm going to have to check. It just, it, it smells like a thrift store and I'd rather it didn't. And there are some stains on it. Like this poor cat went through something in the stain factory there, but like there's just kittens and cats and it's so cute. And like I said, I've wanted one of these like vintage cat jackets for so long and I just have never found one, at least not that I can remember. And now I finally did. And this was hefty, the price on this guy. I paid $60 for this, like, <sighs> Granted, with prices at Goodwill nowadays, they probably would have been charging like 15, 20 bucks for this anyways, but uh, you know, I was in the spirit of being at the Vintage Fest and if I was gonna buy anything, I wanted it to be this cat jacket. So like, ah, I am so, 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 so happy with this purchase. Like definitely made the festival worth it. But also on top of that, what I wasn't expecting, but that I was very excited to see. I mean, they had said in the ads that they were gonna have vintage toys and vintage collectibles and that kind of stuff. And so I was really hoping that they were gonna have trading cards, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, which I myself collect. I was really hoping they were gonna have vintage cards there. Unfortunately, I didn't find any. I think there were like some vintage baseball cards and stuff at the booth that I found these at, but I was able to find some modern day Pokemon stuff that I actually haven't been able to find in store and they actually had it priced fairly. I think each one of them was maybe $5 more than retail price, but even that being said, it's still cheaper than what I've been able to find these for online, like on eBay and stuff. So I was super willing to pay the price. Like I said, I've looked for these in stores and haven't been able to find them myself. And I was just gonna pass them up because like it was one of those things where I didn't need these. I've opened plenty of other stuff that have these series of cards in them. But now that I was able to find them, like, ugh, I was so excited. The Snorlax Dark Ride tin here, these I think think were Hobby Lobby exclusives and I was never able to find them. There was also a Mimikyu tin that came in this set as you can maybe see there but they didn't have any Mimikyus left but then they also had uh, these Celebrations tins which I'm only missing the Charizard out of Celebrations at this point and I was just gonna buy it loose you know to finish off my collection because you know with the different releases and stuff I just I allow myself to buy one of each product if I'm interested in the product and then otherwise I'll just buy them loose. Like that's the best way for me to get my money's worth out of Pokemon cards. And so, like I said, it wasn't worth me paying the extra money in the hopes that I was gonna pull a Charizard. But since I saw these, and like I said, I was able to get them at a fair price, I actually let my mom pick out these two tins because I've opened so much celebrations and I clearly have not been able to pull the Charizard. So I let my mom pick them out. Mom, the Charizard better be in one of these two tins. <laughs> that would be, uh, I would be thrilled. I'm actually going to be open the, opening these up on my Collect channel right after I film this video. So I don't know when the posting is gonna happen, that video or this video, but they will be opened eventually. So I am just, I'm really excited. Like I said, um, it wasn't what I expected. I probably wouldn't go again, but that being said, a lot of it just has to do with the fact that it was very overpriced and also I just get very overwhelmed very easily in big crowds like that. Like it's just, it's so many people, everyone is just pushing and shoving and wanting to get into the racks and like it just, you get to a point or at least I get to a point and my mom does too where it's just like, I just don't care. Like it's not worth the fight. I know that even if I do find something in that rack of clothes, it's gonna be too expensive anyways and I'm not gonna be able to buy it or I'm not gonna want to buy it, whatever the case is. So I probably wouldn't go again to this particular vintage fest, but it was still a fun experience. I was very happy my mom and I could go and, you know, check it out together. Certainly you guys should let me know if there are any other vintage festivals. It could be super fun, you know, take a road trip someday if there's a particularly good one in your area and, you know, there's fair prices and everything. Like maybe someday I'll be able to do that. You guys should let me know if there's anything near you um, and just let 
let me let me know all of the things you know was this an exciting video was it fun i thought it was a, something a little different thought it might be fun on the channel here but uh yeah just let me know all of the things down below you can also let me know if you enjoyed the video found it helpful somehow whatever the case may be by giving it a thumbs up down below i would really appreciate it and if you're new here hey hi hello how are you you can go ahead and subscribe you can tippity tap the notification bell down below and become a member of my casserole family here on my channel i'd love to have you here and as always i just hope you guys are all doing well and until next time just stay well until then bye